funding for the deepening of the St. John's River gets the okay. It's been approved. The Army Corps of Engineers awarded $17.5 million for the dredging project wanted by the Jacksonville Port Authority. Channel 4's Chris Brento live this morning. And Chris, this is just the beginning of the funding that's needed. It is, but it gets the ball rolling toward the deepening of the St. John's River, eventually allowing for bigger ships to come into and out of Jacksport. This funding and this project will deepen 13 miles of the St. John's River from 40 feet to 47 feet. The dredging project is expected to take between five and six years to complete with an estimated cost of $684 million in local, state, and federal money to get the project done. Congressman John Rutherford, Ted Yoho, Al Lawson, and Daniel Webster sent a letter on Friday to the director of the Office of Management and Budget and the Assistant Secretary of the Army asking that the project be included in the funding. You know, the project's been approved for some time. Uh, we're just now getting the, the, the money to get started. You know, and Jacksport uh, supports a, a tremendous economic output. I mean, almost $27 billion of economic output, uh, 132,000 jobs. So this, this is uh, very important for Northeast Florida. Port leaders have said this project is a must if Jacksport wants to remain competitive on the East Coast, allowing ships that are larger passing through the newly expanded Panama Canal to make it into and out of Jacksport. Live this morning, I'm Chris Parento, Channel 4, The Local Station. And the St. John's Riverkeeper has filed a federal lawsuit against the Army Corps of Engineers, saying their environmental impact statement does not give a full picture of what dredging could do to the river and the ecosystem. Well,